In this video, we're going to talk about creating a payment plan for your client to follow when you send them an invoice. Typically, when your client purchases something with a high price point or a really long timeline, paying for the entire invoice up front may not be feasible for them. But as the business owner, you still want to collect a little something up front to know they're invested in your service or product. So a payment plan in Dubsado lets you break down one big price point into individual installments. You can define specific due dates and amounts for each installment and can also have automated emails go out to remind them of an upcoming or late payment. You can build a payment plan template under Templates, Payment Plans. There are a few examples that already come in your account, so if one of these matches how you invoice, then you just saved yourself an extra step. But for those of you who need something different, to create a new payment plan, you'll click Create New Template. First things first, give your template a name by clicking the pencil icon next to the title at the top. You can always update the title at any time by clicking on the pencil icon again. The next thing you want to do is add how many installments this payment plan will consist of. Another way of thinking about this is, how many payments do you want your invoice to be broken down into? Once you have the installments in place, the next step is determining when each payment is due and for how much. Each installment is broken down into three sections, the due date, the amount due, and if there will be any reminders attached to that specific installment. Let's talk about the different options for due dates first. There are three options, relative, fixed, or TBD. Relative due dates give you different milestones that the installment can watch for. Once those milestones are hit, it will set the appropriate due date for you. There are six to choose from, before or after the project start date, before or after the project end date, after this payment plan is applied to an invoice, or after the contract is signed by the client. And then you can choose X amount of days, weeks, or months from that milestone you choose. So for example, if the first payment or initial deposit is due once the client signs the contract, I can set this to zero days after contract is signed by client. Once the client signs, it will plug in that day as the day the first payment is due. For a fixed due date, you can choose a specific date on the calendar. Usually when you're building a base template like this that will get applied to every invoice, you might not want to use this option here, or else every client might have their deposit due on May 3rd, for example. This option typically works really well on a per invoice basis. Once this is applied to an invoice, you can go in and set a specific date for an individual invoice. TBD basically means I have no idea yet. You can set it as an open due date for this installment, but then manually set a specific due date later once an actual date has been decided on. This option is really handy for anyone in the design space, like when you have an unknown midway point during a design project. Let's go back though and set this installment as zero days after contract is signed. Next up is setting the amount due for the installment. The three options here are divide equally, percentage, and fixed. The first option is divide equally, this option will set up equally divided installments automatically based on how many installments you have on your payment plan. A percentage amount will make a certain percentage of the invoice total due. And a fixed amount would be for an exact dollar amount. This is a good choice if you always require a $500 deposit no matter what the invoice total is. For this payment plan, let's just leave it as divide equally so I have four installments with all equal payments. Once you've entered the due date and amount for each installment, you're ready to go unless you want reminders to go out to your client, which we'll talk about now. When you have payment reminders set up, Dubsado will automatically send an email to the client to remind them about an upcoming payment or follow up when a payment is overdue. 
The nice thing about payment reminders is that they will only send if the client has not yet paid the amount due for that installment. So no more sitting at your computer sending those give me your money emails. Each installment can have its own set of payment reminder emails. Let's say that I want to set a payment reminder to go out one week before their payment is due and one week after their payment is late for the second, third, and fourth installment. Click on Add Reminder at the bottom of the installment and then select how many days, weeks, or months before or after the due date you want the email reminder to go out. You can even set the time of day that the email will send. Then select the email that you want to use. For simplicity, you can either use the default payment reminder emails we have built in, or you can create your own custom emails in the canned email section of your templates. Now that we have the first reminder in, we can add a second reminder for the same installment to go out one week after the due date, just in case there's some funny business going on and they don't want to cough it up. Then you can rinse and repeat this for the other installments or create a different scenario for your payment reminders if you want to. Remember that once the client makes the payment, no further reminders will send. So if the client pays the full amount after the first reminder, they won't receive the second reminder.